It's time for Ryan's Roses, Kiss FM. Ariel, thank you for reaching out. I want to go right to it. We've been waiting to get you on yeah. the line all morning. So you come home from work. Your uh, bed is all stripped. The blinds are closed, right? The bed's stripped from all the sheets. Everything's off the bed. And you think, wow, this is odd. Looks like the scene of something. And you address it with your husband, and he says what? He says that one of our cats puked on the bed. Now, why don't you and believe you him? don't believe him, why? Right. I just, you know, none of it made sense. Like, all the evidence, basically, like, it was just one of those great days for me where everything went faster than expected, and I made it home early. I basically got home around, like, 3.30 instead of my usual time, which is right around 6. And my husband worked from home, and I texted him saying that I was on my way, um, but I didn't think that he saw it or, or I, I don't know. He never responded. So I got home and I basically found the bed stripped and the blinds were closed, which I, I never closed the blinds. And I asked him what happened. And he just very quickly said, oh, Mitzi, our, our, one of our cats got sick on the bed. And, and so I, I stripped the bed and, and I washed them or whatever. And I just. But why don't you believe him? For one second. Why? Why? Does he have a? Well, does he, is there something that you've always thought about? Well, like, have yeah. you been concerned? Well, n- not really. Not in that sense. More so, just of the scenario. Like Mitzi, our cat, rarely goes in our bedroom. I mean, rarely. And you would think that, like, okay, if the cat got sick, there would be some sort of evidence. You'd see something in the trash or like towels or or something. You know, there was no evidence of her getting sick. And I couldn't smell anything. I mean, nothing, right? So I asked him why the blinds were closed, too. And he just said, oh, I don't know. Mm. And I was like, what do you mean you don't know? And he was like, oh, well, I raised them, you know, when I was cleaning up the mess. I'm like, wait, what? It just, none of it is making sense. And I'm afraid that he is a terrible liar. And I'm just getting it Uh. in my head that something else was going on in the bed. How long have you been married real quick? We've been married How many for years? three years. Three. Right. Okay. Yeah, she doubts really her have. husband, doesn't believe him. Let's get into it next. Ryan's Roses. Well, it's time for Ryan's Roses. So I don't want to judge before we do it, but I think that he's lying. She comes home from work. He's working from home, married. Right? All of a sudden, she goes in the bedroom. The bed is stripped. The blinds are closed. Like there was something going on there. He says one of the cats puked on the bed. Mitzi. Mitzi? Was Mitzi the cat? What's the cat's name? Something like that, right? Ariel? Yeah. We are going to call your husband and see if we can find out. Just quickly, okay. generally speaking, has the marriage been solid otherwise? Because you're casting a lot of doubt. Honestly, no. It hasn't been great. Um, we got married in 2021, so it was still pandemic time, and I've just always had the feeling that his family has never liked me. I thought that they would eventually come around, but I really don't think that they have. And now we're at a point where, you know, I'm, I want to take our, I want to start a family with him. I want to start having kids and, and he's hemming and hawing. And I, I'm afraid he's just even completely changed his mind. And honestly, it, it just hasn't been, it hasn't been wonderful. I'm afraid to say. This is important. This is important. Mm-hmm. We're going to call him right now. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then his name. Go ahead. Okay, Ryan, you have my permission to call. We're doing it right now. Be very quiet. Let's see if we can find out. Who's this? Hi, is this Derek? Yes. Hi, Derek. My name is Wendy. I'm calling from Burbank Blooms. How are you doing this morning? Uh, how did you get this number? Hi. So you, you're in our database. Uh, we're a flower shop here on Magnolia and are offering a promotion. It's a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like today. How, how do I get off this list? Oh, well, it's free roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. I don't need cash from you or anything like that. Look, I don't appreciate calls from telemarketers. I'm on the do not call list, but that does nothing. I get these calls every day. It, it, it's driving me crazy. I'm I'm not a telemarketer. I I just own a very a local flower shop here in Burbank, and 
we do this promotion about once a month. Uh huh. It's free roses. I I don't need cash from you or any info from you. Truly, we just hope that if you um, like our arrangements, you come back as a customer one day or refer us to friends and family. I apologize for intruding. It's just something that we do. Okay. I would just need the name of the person you want to send them to and a note, and then we can deliver them by lunchtime today if that's convenient for you or a different day or time. All right. Um, okay, cool. Um, send them to, send them to my wife. Okay. Ariel. Say with love from, no, wait. Nice save. Say I love you. Derek, nice save. You're on the air with us right now. I need you to stay on, please. It's a nice save right there. You're sending your flowers to your wife, but you're hesitating. By the way, my name is Ryan. You're on the air with us right now. We have your wife on the phone. So... I, I don't. I don't. I. 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 I want to. We know something here. We, we. Your wife reached out to us to step in for a second. It's a public service, and so it sounded to me. And I the reason I want to jump in now is because you're hesitating about sending flowers to your wife. We were told, Derek, that you were a, by yourself. Your wife came home early, and the bed was stripped from everything. The blinds were closed. Your wife has real doubt in your relationship. Is he there? Are you there? No, he's gone. Are you there? What is he hung up? Yeah, you're talking to Ariel? no one. Ariel, oh when did he hang up? I, 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 I'm so confused. I hold on for a second. Is he not there? He's not er, there. Derek, how long was it going on without him being on the phone? Uh, good. Yeah, twenty five seconds. Quite a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He hung up. I'm, no, you don't need to I'm apologize. Sorry. Hold on. I, I'm going to tell you something, Ariel. I'm very convinced. What? Well, he was hesitating to send you roses, meaning he was about to send them to someone else. So I, I really think he was covering up for something. I do believe that. That's what I heard. Yeah, and I know him. Like, that's not a confident. That, that It should not have been a question mark, and that was essentially a question mark. He really mark. struggled. I, I think that was he very did. telling. Oh, my gosh. Very telling. I, I'm just... I wish I could have gotten more out of him. I really didn't think he would just hang up like that. And now I, hey, Ariel, we, I don't even know how to handle it when I get home. <laughs> like, well, hold on for a second. We can't pretend to know what's going on in your relationship or what you should do. But I, along with Sisney and Tanya, we heard you say you have a lot of doubt and you don't have a good yeah. feeling in your marriage already right now. And if something is going on, um, you need to think about that. And also, like, what is best for you? What is... You don't sound happy. What is going to make you happy? Mm-hmm. And and there may be challenges. I don't, I don't know what they are, but if you're unhappy, you should really take a step back and think about it. And maybe this is the straw that breaks the camel's back, but it's not worth being unhappy for the rest of your life if you're not in a good marriage, Ariel. You're right. I, or, or I mean, fix, I, or I fix your marriage. That. You could also fix your marriage. Right. I, I don't want to choose a path for you. But I could tell before we made the call, it's not right. It's not. Right. I know. It, it needs to change. <laughs> well, good, good luck to you. Thank you for reaching out. I hope you get to a place of peace and happiness. Thank you, Ariel. Oh. Don't you agree? I agree with you. I feel like I could have gotten a little more out of him without you interjecting. Yeah, you jumped oh, in way no, too fast. It's what not are you talking about? He hesitated. Bat- Look, and there was so me. much more info we could have gotten yeah. from what he was going to write on the note. Up on and Sissy no. could have asked him, what type of flowers do you want? Romantic? Red roses? Well, or... But he hung up. Why no, he hung not up? until no. you came in. Yeah, he hung up when he heard that he was he on the radio. Yes. Oh, so I made him hung up? Hang yes. up, hung up? Yeah, you, yeah, you did. Yeah. I blame you. But we don't need to blame anybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she does. Sorry, but we could have gotten more. Okay, well... It's time to rehash some Ryan's Roses this morning. Whoa, if you missed it, shall we? Casting blame this morning, aren't we? So I just want to say, I don't know when the right time is to jump in to the Ryan's Roses call and tell whoever's on the line that they're on the air. I'm well, just going with it. Preferably after they we do the note, but find out what they're, they're going to write. All right, so just to recap. See if he wrote right. love. Oh, my gosh. Um, we didn't even see if he wrote love. Right. Love. Blah, blah, the guy blah. was hesitating to send flowers to his wife. Uh. Flag, flag, flag. So, Ariel and Derek married. 
Um, she thinks he's lying about the fact that the bed was stripped and the curtains were closed when she walked in early from work. Right. He lied and said it was, well, I think he did, and said it was the cat that puked. I don't believe it. But the point is, she said going in, she's got real problems with the relationship, the marriage, doesn't feel like anybody's in it anymore. Like, already, it doesn't even matter what happened there. She's sort of in a place of feeling alone in a marriage. And so they need to fix that part, too, or she needs to move on. But you two, Sisney and Tanya... I jumped in because the guy hesitated to send flowers to his wife. And maybe he was hesitating about what he was going to write on the card. He wasn't. No, he you wasn't. He was thinking about somebody else. Yeah, the you hesitation, just say please. That. Uh, no, but I know when someone was thinking about something else, he was thinking you about another name. No, you don't know. No, he tried to cover it up by using his wife's name. I do know. I've watched a lot of these shows on TV. And th- no, mm. now we'll never know because you jumped in. Even Ariel at the end was saying. I wish I would have gotten more out of that. Christine, you don't feel the same. Well, you tell them exactly what happened. I think she's stuck in a relationship with no trust. I mean, that's it. Stripping the, yeah, stripping the bed. I don't even know if he knows how to do that. Well, I honestly, mean, I just think the whole thing's bizarre between the shades being shut tight. It sounds like there's zero trust and. There was the whole kids thing. They don't have kids after three years. She she doesn't trust anything about him. And then walking into the situation, I don't know. I I don't trust him either. So this is a blessing. Real bizarre. This is a blessing because now she's got real tangible mm-hmm. reason to figure it out or move on. We could have gotten more out of him. <laughs> I think so too. You jumped in so quick. I did not jump in so Thank quick. Thank you, Christine in oh, San Gabriel. Welcome. Yeah, you did. Just trying to help. You were like a puppy with like a milk bone dangling in front of his face. And you were like just waiting to interject there. Yeah. Well, like, when Chris- have you ever interrupted the note? Like, you've never, never done that. Because the guy was hesitating too much and I knew he was covering something up. I needed to get to him. You can't, you can't second guess one's gut. <laughs> well, in this is- instance, yeah, I probably Christine, should've. thank you for listening. Thank you, Christine. Um, I don't show up trying to be perfect. No, I show no. Up no one's perfect, Ryan. No one's perfect. That's right. Well, there you have it. That was imperfect. All right. You know what? We all make mistakes. Was I wasn't a mistake. I'm not saying it was a mistake. <laughs> I was imperfect. I didn't say a mistake. Do I just said know? I was imperfect. Do you want to know an interesting fact I learned the other day? I mean, on a scale of one to ten, no. <laughs> Honestly, I think we're out of time. <laughs> I'm like tired. Of, 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 no, I'm tired quick. physically from that. It's quick. Do you know that the percentage of marriages that end in divorce within the first five years? No. You want to guess? Half. 20. 20%. Okay. And why do you have why? that fact floating and through your why noggin? Why is it? Well, because they're <laughs> mar- married for three years, so yeah. they might now be in that percentage. And do you know how many end ever anyway? Half. So. No, that, that, that is That's not true changed. anymore. Yeah. I changed? Yeah. What? You yes. got you to gotta update your facts. Yeah. You can't well, just say the same okay. fact for the last the 15 yeah. years. Uh, Ryan Rose is every Monday, Thursday. <laughs> Kiss FM. Hold on. Let's come back. I'm physically exhausted from it. And now it's every 41%. Time. Yeah, it's going down. Mm-hmm. Of all marriages? Mm-hmm. 41% of all first marriages end in divorce.